What's up guys? Welcome to another beautiful afternoon here in Hawaii. From the look of this sunset, it tells me one thing, and that is I'm getting too late of start here today trying to make this video, so I think I will probably have exactly one take to get it right and uh, get all the information out that I want to share today. So, I've got a bunch of new knives. I've had some really good mail days the last few days, so things have started to pile up, so I'm going to have to do them all in one video here, but... Um, I also wanted to say a huge thank you to everybody. I was going to do a, a giveaway to thank everybody when I hit the 420 subscriber mark, but that was a few days ago and I've since passed that, headed to 450. So thank you to everybody who has been supporting me and, and watching my stuff. So I will be doing a good giveaway at the end of this video. Um, stick around, I'll tell you how to get entered and show you some of the stuff that I'm planning on putting up for the giveaway. So. That's number one. Number two, I also want to mention there's a channel that I've been watching and super nice guy. He's just getting started out and uh, if you guys would go over and check out his channel, I would super appreciate it. His channel is called Garakor EDC and he has an incredible collection of knives. Super nice guy. Um, I haven't told him this, but I kind of think he sounds like Bob Ross, so just really pleasant to listen to and great guy all the way around. So. I'll leave the link for his channel in the description for this video, but go check out his stuff also. I would appreciate that. So, looking at some of these knives that I've got in, the first one I want to start with, this is a knife that I got, uh, bought from a friend of mine last week, and this is the first Kaiser knife I have ever owned. This is the Kaiser Roach. Matt Dennigan design. So, let's check this thing out here. Packaging is pretty nice. They include all the company information. There's a little wiping cloth in there. A little cradle for the knife there. And then here it is. Kind of an interesting design. I think, you know, because uh, Hawaii has such a fond relationship with cockroaches, um, they're just everywhere out here. It's part of living in a tropical climate. I thought this knife was interesting, so I wanted to get it and just check it out and see what it was all about but when it came in it's it's an interesting knife ergonomics are a little strange on it um, I'm gonna say the jury's still out on this one it has a kind of a strange grip I don't know if I can get this in frame here but basically when you grip this knife it's either your fingers down over this little bump here and you're kind of holding back on it a little bit or you can choke up and it actually has a, a nicer grip up here around the front choil. So, kind of interesting. It's, it's a little hard to grab right under the flipper there because then your, your finger is on this high spot and it, it gives you kind of a weird grip. So, I'm not sure I, I like the ergonomics on it, but the rest of it is really well made. Um, this blade is made from N690 steel and pretty dang sharp. It's got a coating on the blade, some description. This is not a stone wash, it is actually coated. And then really nice sculpted G10 handles. Got a blue backspacer there. The pocket clip is pretty well designed, easy to put into your pocket. Um, and then it has this really nice cockroach picture on the pocket clip itself. So it's an interesting knife. I don't know if this is going to be a, a keeper or not for me or catch and release, but probably the only other thing that I found that I would probably want to do if I do keep this knife. The cutout for the lock bar, while it's, you know, it's not terrible, but they didn't bring the liner all the way up. They brought the G10 up, so this would be a very easy fix to just carve this out a little bit and hit it with the sander and drop this down to the same spot as the liner and just give you a lot better access for your thumb there. So if I do keep it, that's definitely something I'm going to do to it. Other than that, overall, it's Nice knife, smooth action. So, anyway, my first Kaiser knife, Kaiser Roach. And looking at some of the Tucson knives that I've got today. I'll start with this one. This is an updated version of a Wong design knife that I have had one of previously. This is the TS-127. This is the G10 version, kind of this 
black and gray G10 and they upgraded to a nice deep carry pocket clip which they did actually include a spare second pocket clip in the package which I thought was nice they've started doing that with certain products they'll just decide to randomly throw extra stuff into the package I've gotten extra o-rings and this extra pocket clip so Tucson is is really you know hopefully thinking about not getting callbacks because you know somebody bent their pocket clip they would rather just throw in an extra one for you which I think is cool but the knife itself um, you know, it's pretty similar to the orange and black version that came out originally. They changed the blade steel on this one. This one is 14C28N rather than the 12C27 on the original. And then they also have another version of this in orange and black with an S90V blade, which, uh, you know, I'm not sure I'll get that one or not. I think... Uh, I like this one the best personally, just the look of it. I think this one came out nice. As far as it goes, the G10 is very grippy, has pretty deep texture to it, so I am planning on taking this one apart. I'm going to sand it down a little bit and kind of round some of this over just for comfort's sake, but other than that, I do like this knife. I think now that it's not orange, I like it a little bit better. I'm not a big fan of orange knives in general, and while I, I liked it the first time I got it, it was the color that was just killing me. So. Rather than dye the scales, I was kind of happy to see that they came out with this one. So, this is the TS-127 by Wong Design. And next one I've got here, this is a knife that is not new to me. I actually had one of these a couple years back. I guess it's probably been at least two years at this point. This is the TS-26, and I'm not sure what they're calling it at this point. I don't know that I've even seen it named anything on the new listings. Get it wiped off here. This one used to be called the Nightwing when it first came out, and I had one originally. I did like it. I do like the design a lot, but I ended up, uh, a friend of mine really wanted it, so I ended up selling it to him, not realizing that they were going to discontinue it, and then wasn't able to find one again. So finally, a couple years later, they now have another one out. Now, I'm not sure if it's identical to the original. I seem to remember the original had a blue thumb stud there, and I don't know if it had the same thumb stud both sides. Um, the lock side is actually a little thinner than the show side on the thumb stud. I'm not really even a big fan of the thumb stud. The flipper works really well on this, and I kind of think that this is more just for aesthetics than opening, but you can middle finger flick this one easier from the other side than you can get it with your thumb on this side. So, But just I do like the design. The handle is really, really nice on it. There's a spot for a lanyard down at the end. I like the blue backspacer. I think I would like it even better if the, the thumb stud matched the blue. I think that really made the look before. but cool knife. I'm glad to see it made it back out of retirement, out of extinction. So this is the TS-26 Nightwing by Night Morning Design. And then last one here on the list of new knives that I've got in. This is the TS-84 Orca in G10. So I also have my original Orca that I brought for this video to show you side by side. This is the titanium version. This one has become pretty hard to find at this point. Uh, they did stop making this one a while ago, unfortunately. I know there's quite a few people who would love to see this one back for sale again, and I know they would sell real quick if they made another batch of them, but for right now, all that you can find on eBay or pretty much anywhere is going to be this G10 version. So while I absolutely love the titanium version, the G10, there's a few things about it that I was aware of before I got it, but I decided I wanted to get one anyway. I normally avoid this style pocket clip like the plague. I just don't like the design of it. I don't like how pointy it is. So, you know, I can overlook that because I like the design of the knife so much. And the other thing about this one, the texturing on the G10 is so incredibly deep and grippy. 
that this thing is like a rasp. If you go to put this in your pocket, it's just going to shred your pants. So I actually got this one with the intention of making a few modifications. Um, I'm going to round this clip over, take the Dremel and kind of put a nice rounded end on it and either repaint or strip the coating off the clip and then I'm gonna sand down these G10 scales and, and knock down a lot of the high spots and then probably dye this one. I've seen a few that people did with RIT dye and came out really nice looking so that is my plans for this one. There we are in focus. So this is the TS84 Orca by Mazwan Mokhtar Design. Really is a good knife, and short of being able to get the titanium one for, you know, 35 or 40 bucks that you can find these for, it really is a good bargain. This is a, a really stout, heavy-duty work knife, utility knife, so I thought it was worth getting, even though I truly can't stand the pocket clip, but besides that, the rest of the knife is pretty awesome. So, those are the new ones that I wanted to show you here, and the last thing that I wanted to talk about, and told you in the beginning of the video, I'm going to do a giveaway. This one is actually going to be in conjunction with my friend Twiggy Wolf, and he has actually been so kind as to donate a knife to this giveaway. So check out Twiggy Wolf's channel. That is one of the requirements to get in on the giveaway. Go and subscribe over at his channel. I will leave the link to the description for his channel as well. And the knife that he donated for the giveaway Number one that will be available is the Night Morning Design TS70. Really awesome knife. I've had quite a few of these. I do like it a lot. It's a great design. It's just, you know, it's just cool all the way around. So this is number one. And then number two in Hawaiian knife and gear style, I'm not going to tell you what the second one is going to be because I'm not sure yet. I want to make sure that if you are the winner, you get something that hopefully you don't already have. So it could be one of the other ones in this box. I have a whole bunch of other ones. So the second one is going to be to be determined by, you know, whoever wins. I'll give you a list of possible options and, and let you pick one of them. So for right now, that's going to be the giveaway. Just go over to his channel, subscribe over there, and then leave a comment on this video. I'm in, and that'll get you entered into the giveaway. I just, again, I want to say thank you to everybody. I really, truly appreciate all the support that I've been getting so far. And, uh, you know, it's the least I can do is put up a couple of knives and hopefully somebody can win them here. So that's what I have for you today. That's my video. And amazingly, I made it through all of it. And I'm not completely out of daylight. So you can check out the rest of this nice sunset. And that's my video for today. Good luck in the giveaway, guys. Thanks.